Hi everyone, welcome back to Let Him Code. Today I'm going to talk about the two important static methods of arrays class in Java. The first one is the sort method and the other one is the copy of method. Now to begin with, we have a arrays code.java file and we'll write our code inside this. So I'm using this atom editor. You can use any other editors of your choice. So let's start coding. Let's create a new class. And okay, public static void main. Now, before talking about the sort method, let's create an integer array of with some random values, some unsorted values. Int arr equals, let's put some unsorted values here, 43, 32, 65, 12, 4, 19. Okay, so we can see we have an unsorted array of six elements so the length will be six and the highest index will be five this is just for your understanding okay now what if I want to print this array I mean print all the elements of this array I need one more variable int i equal to zero and We'll create one while loop while i is less than array's length then we need the value at each index so let's keep it i here and yes, I will increment every time. Okay, now we save it and let's run it. Okay, there is an error. Okay, I missed the semicolon. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's save it again and run it. So we can see all the values have been populated here. 43, 32, 65, 12, 4, 19. Okay, so this is the same way this array is here. So it's not sorted yet, right? So here comes the sort method like a superman arrays dot sort and the parameter inside this will be the variable we use to declare this integer array. So here it will be arr. Okay, now let's save it and let's again run it. We get an error saying arrays is not recognized. Okay. We have not imported the util package from where the arrays class is coming. So let's import it. Import java.util.arrays. Okay. Now let's save it and run it. Yes. Now once we have used this arrays.sort, now we can see these values are sorted in an ascending order, right? So this is how we are using sort method in array. So let's talk about the other one. I mean the other array. Sorry, the other method we are talking about. That is the copy of method. So how, how we are going to use that copy of method and when do we actually need that copy of method? We know that once we declare any array, we cannot increase its size or we cannot add any other element inside this, right? Unlike array list, we cannot add array add elements in array right so what we can do is we can create a new array we can call it a uh, copy okay and we can we can tell the compiler that from this point when the 19 ends i want to add few more elements in the array and i want to store it in the copy array and this is how we are going to add elements 
in the new array okay so new array here is the copy array let's make it new array okay so how this works is now here it will take arrays dot copy of and this this method will take two parameters the first parameter is the array the old array where we need to add the elements so let's write it down here arr and the next one is the total length of the array what it will become after adding elements so if you want to add for example three elements in this array the total length will be nine if you want to add two elements in this array the total length will be eight so for example we need to add two elements in this old array so we'll need to add eight here okay so in this line we are doing nothing but finalizing the length of the new array right if we are keeping it eight we cannot add more than eight elements or in total there could not be more than eight elements in the new array correct let's now add this two elements here so the index in which these elements will be stored is the sixth index and the seventh index because the total length is eight so let's put there so new array six let's put uh, some value 34 and new array seven let's put something like seven okay so now we have added these two elements in the new array okay and we are not thinking about sorting right now okay let's let's try to print this array so here it will be new arrays length and here also let's save it and let's run it so we can see that two new elements has been added in this old array 34 and 7 like this now what if we try to add one more element let's see new array 22 so we don't have much space here we don't have space at all i mean but still i'm trying to add let's see what happens let's save it and let's run it see we have an index out of bound exception which was expected correct so we cannot add more elements if we have not declared this length before okay so we need to keep that in our minds so let's remove this and save it and let's run it so the array is printing correctly okay now if you want to sort it we can sort it like this after adding the new array we can sort it here arrays dot sort and we are now trying to sort the new array so we'll keep new array as a parameter here okay let's save it let's run it we can see the new array has been created and it's already sorted that's it for this video if you like it put a thumbs up and share this with your friends bye bye see you in the next one